and the city is basically a collections agency. He said the city gets 20%, and the more successful they are, the more money for the city. Council President Sam Frischone not happy with the agency's response, and uh, Frischone said they would be applying pressure to Mayor Paul Deister, who is on the NTCC board. And as for that uh, bed tax, Frischone said this. The bed tax, it is a tax. It's taxpayers' money. He did not spend it accordingly. I mean, this, this, this cannot be justified in the taxpayers' eyes or in the city of Niagara Falls' eyes that this is the best way to spend the money. So he has some problems on his hands at this point in time. At this, I would love to see the NTCC board of directors do the right thing and uh, possibly sever ties with Mr. Percy and move on and conduct a national search for a new leader. Meantime, the Bills say that Saturday's Kid Day preseason game against Cincinnati at Ralph Wilson Stadium has not sold out, and it will be blacked out uh, live on local television. It will be shown at some later time by tape delay. The game features $15 tickets for kids 14 and under, plus reduced costs for snacks and concessions. There will be a fireworks display after the game. A 61-year-old Newfane man was killed about 7 o'clock last night when a riding lawnmower rolled over into a pond at 5595 Ridge Road. His name is being withheld until all relatives are notified. The Lockport High School Foundation will be inducting its fourth class of distinguished alumni at 7 o'clock tonight at the Palace. The group includes Michael Alexander, Patricia Berry, Rebecca Florio, George Britz, Kimberly Glass, General Dale Nelson, Frank Ockenfels III, Russell Pate, Louis Rosati, Rosalie Rosati, Ronald Truax, and Linda Van Buskirk. It all starts with the reception at 6.15. Congressman Chris Lee called on House Speaker Nancy Pelosi yesterday to reject using a lame duck session after the November election to pass controversial and costly legislation that he says the American people don't want. I'm trying to do it in a lot of members uh, around the country are trying to do is in, uh, get a commitment out of uh, Democratic leadership and, and also other members who, frankly, are at risk of losing who will make a commitment that uh, and the lame duck, they will let the next Congress make those decisions on controversial language. Uh, for us to be potentially voting on things such as cap and trade, which is the National Energy Tax, or something like card check, which is a uh, takes away the ability for secret ballot in the unionization. Those are monumental, completely controversial bills. Those can even come up as a potential vote item is frankly wrong. And uh, my goal is just to continue to educate people on what's out there and make sure that they are also applying pressure because uh, that surely shouldn't be the case. Lee said taxpayers have repeatedly called for more fiscal restraint and common sense policies from Washington. The state controller's office issuing its audit yesterday of the town of Newfane, and it says the town must establish internal controls over employee fringe benefits and procurement and claims processing. Auditors found the town provided over $12,000 of unauthorized health insurance benefits and about $6,700 of unsupported lump sum payments to employees and retirees because it says officials did not properly follow board procedures. It also said that audit claims and board members rarely reviewed all of the claims and the supporting documentation. Your Doppler radar forecast is calling for partly sunny skies today, the high about 70. Tonight, some clouds, low 55, and Friday, sunny and a high of 76. It is 62 degrees in Lockport and 63 at the Falls. I'm John Raymond. News, weather, traffic, and sports. What you need to start your day. From hometown 1340 WLVL, Lockport. The hometown hardware store with the inventory and competitive pricing of the big box stores. That's Spalding Ace Hardware on Davison Road in Lockport. As an Ace Hardware store, Spalding's not only features an inventory of over 40,000 items, they have access to another 70,000 items through the Ace Warehouse. No matter what you need, you can count on terrific customer service from a knowledgeable staff. They can assist you if you need help or point you in the right direction if you know exactly what you want. Spalding Ace Hardware has everything you expect from a hardware store. Replacement glass and screens, power tool repair, key making and lock rekeying, and more. There's a complete paint section with Ace and Benjamin Moore paints, plus computer paint color matching. Spalding Ace Hardware has everything from DeWalt High